Can you believe how calm it is out there? Well, we're gonna go fishing. We're gonna go catch some fish. We're actually pre-fishing for a tournament that I'm fishing in tomorrow on the 20th, I believe it is. Registration night is tonight. So I am kind of pre-fishing. I've kind of figured out, uh, you know, decent concentrations of other fish. But, uh, you know, I just want to go try some things, try some new spots, and uh, can, look how beautiful it is out there. Can you get over that? That is ridiculous. Insane. Wow, is it ever hot out here? So yeah, kind of, uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of background context, but uh, my buddy Nathan and I uh, were fishing yesterday and we did okay. It wasn't too much for uh, on the walleye side, but we definitely found a lot of pike. I did not film, I don't think I filmed anything from yesterday, but uh, Nathan will have probably have a video or just some footage of that. But when we were catching fish, we, we were catching, you know, some bigger walleyes and uh, you know stuff on the bigger side like 22s, 20 inches, nothing below 20 inches. Well, maybe a couple below 20, but you know nothing crazy. It was mostly bigger fish. So that's good for the tournament wise, but I mean it was hard finding the fish. So once you find the fish, then you can go from there. That's why I am pre-fishing right now so I can go out and find these fish. The water temperature is 57 degrees. Yesterday it was like 53, so it was super cold, and then it kind of heated up during during the day, and then at the end of the day it was almost like 60, degree, 60 degrees. And uh, that's when I went, went out in the evening, and I caught a whole bunch of walleye, and uh, yeah, I feel pretty confident. So it is absolutely glass calm right now, which is one, beautiful, but two, it also sucks for walleye fishing because walleye do not like the calm waters. But hey, I kind of do. So yeah, we're gonna go out fishing, and I don't know how much of today I'm gonna film, I'm gonna try and get a little video done. The tournament day is supposed to rain all day, so I'm not sure if I'm going to film, but uh, there's another half day of tournament fishing, and I might film that, I'm not sure. So, big walleyes, people. There we go. I really need a cameraman. There's a beautiful <laughs> white shell gold. Awesome. This is exactly the fish I want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release this fish right away. Hey buddy. So, that was successful. So I literally just came up onto the spot and not even like 10 minutes in, I caught a fish. I think that was like my second cast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this spot. So yeah, I know I'm kind of sacrificing content here, but I'm gonna leave this spot and I'm gonna go try a new spot because I know this is a proven spot. I might take one more cast, just to, you know, if I do catch one more walleye, then I know this is a proven spot. pike that I catch I always check my line because he could have it inhaled and it comes apart that easy I don't know if you guys can see me yeah lighting's terrible I literally just pulled my line apart just like this just because of that one pike because when he t-boned it he literally t-boned it he ate it like right here where the line was and then the uh, the jig was kind of wrapped in his face so when you catch a pike always check your line
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna give you guys a little update for you at home. Um, so not so much has been going on. I think this morning I woke up around 4.30ish. Got up, it was raining, it was no fun. Uh, no fun to fish in whatsoever. I did fish through it, but uh, yeah, so I caught my four, my string of walleye, that is uh, four walleye that are being documented as a total length in centimeters. Right now, I don't know how many centimeters I have, but I have my four fish registered already. I'm looking for my biggest or to upgrade my slots. I think my biggest was like a 21 or 22 and I got two of those and then I got a smaller like 17 inch here. Yeah, just trying to trying to get some fish on the boat. It is a struggle, I will tell you that. Uh, it was windy, it was raining this morning, all morning like I said. Uh, just the fishing in general has been uh, quite the struggle. Sorry about the wind, I know it's probably gonna be bad, but uh, I'm gonna try my best to capture as much as I can, but like I said, the uh, the weather is not in my favor, that is for sure. It's windy, I like that it's overcast though, I am a big fan of that, but um, yeah, it's windy and it's no fun, so. I'll try my best to capture anything I can, but yeah, we will go from there. I've heard from most people too on the lake, uh, pre-fishing yesterday, that uh, it was rough for some people as well. It's funny too, because in some spots, I'm marking fish like crazy, like the fish finder is just lit up, but um, they just won't hit anything. I think the lake has to warm up a couple more degrees. It's, what is it right now? It's 56 degrees surface temperature. So um, yeah, I think it probably needs to reach at least 60, 61, 62, 63, those are nice numbers. 64 is a really nice number. So I'd say give it another week or so, but um, yeah, they're just, they're in the lake. It's just, they're negative and that's a snag. So I don't know if I've gone over the, uh, the prize categories for this tournament. So basically it's the Winnipeg Firefighter Fish and Game Fishing Derby out on Big White Shell Lake in the eastern province of Manitoba. This whole big community of uh, fishermen all join in to fish a really well-hosted tournament in uh, support of muscular dystrophy, just to support that cause. And uh, yeah, it is pretty cool though. They, uh, they just like redid the whole rules and everything. They did a whole update on uh, all that fun stuff and they put, put on a really good show. I will have to give it to them, but um, the fishing ain't so hot. Have I mentioned that? and gentlemen it is uh it is day two of the winnipeg firefighters fisherman derby sun's coming up just behind me i think it's like almost like 5 30 or something like that so getting an early start we only have till 10 30 i think the fishing stops today so we're gonna try and maximize our fishing time as much as we can here yeah not so much to be said it is absolutely freezing this is one of those days where uh, i kind of wish i brought my my winter jacket and my winter ski pants because oh it's cold kind of got a mess in the boat here got stuff lying all over the place but um yeah we're out here i'm gonna go do it today is the day we catch a big one hopefully i say that every time but um enough talking let's uh let's get out there enjoy some fishing and uh, I'll probably do a little bit of filming at the event as well. I'll probably take my camera around, maybe interview some people. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do some footage there. So stay tuned, people.
sides. We'll take it. Just inhaled that shake. You guys see that down there? Well, folks, nice little chunky walleye. Awesome. So I'll show you guys kind of like the process of uh, measuring one. So get this in here. So we get this nice bump board, right? Measure it there. It's a 45 centimeter, 46. So what we would do is we take a picture of that and then get a video release. Nice back in the water, been out of the water for 45 seconds. So you take your picture, you take a video release of it, and then you put it two words, you're either your longest walleye or your four stringer. So my longest walleye, or my smallest stringer of walleye, I think is like, yeah. My shortest walleye and my stringer of four is a 52, which is a 20 and a half. So I have to get a walleye bigger than 20 and a half to upgrade my my four fish so i gotta get in the 24 25 26 range to actually maybe climb back into this tournament or secure a spot on the leaderboard because right now i believe i was second place last night but there's like five anglers that already registered out of like 120 so there could have been other people with better bags and stuff like that so we're gonna see what happens I probably speak for others when I say this, but when I'm tournament fishing, I like to come up with a game plan. A plan that I stick to because I know it will be effective. My plan was to be consistent and stay on spots that you know have fish on them. Getting to know the lake before you compete in a competitive fishing tournament really helps especially when you have 10 years of fishing knowledge under your belt for this specific body of water. The two days of tournament fishing was tough for almost every boat that was fishing on the water. The Parisian Outdoors boat got his four longest walleye to register for the tournament and so did the Business Outdoors boat. Kyle and his partner Jay put a smack down on some beautiful big white show gold to qualify in the top 10 in the four longest walleye category, with the Parisian Outdoors boat also trailering in the top 10. Getting to know a bunch of new people at these events is what keeps me coming back each year making new connections with new faces and being able to witness the fishing community grow and thrive is what fuels my passion.